I just want to take a quick moment to wish happy holidays to all of our friends who are really angry because there's a war on Christmas. I'm kind of worried about y'all. It's Christmas time and you're not really very merry. See, every December for years now, Bill O'Reilly, Glenn Beck, and the American Family Association have been whipping you into a frenzy because Christmas is under attack from secularists, atheists, liberals, and random nameless non-Christians. And all the proof you need is that businesses aren't saying Merry Christmas anymore. They're saying Happy Holidays. AFA even lists businesses like Radio Shack that Christians should boycott because their advertising says Happy Holidays instead of actually invoking Christ's birth to sell you the new Guitar Hero. On my own block here in New York City, there's a combination head shop and porn emporium with a big Happy Holidays sign right in the front window. And I went into protest, but they told me something very interesting. That atheists and non-Christian believers buy porn and drug paraphernalia as well. They said they're just trying to be inclusive for all their customers by extending goodwill to everyone who's buying warm-up oil and blow-up dolls and meth pipes this time of year. Now, look, I'm not going to try and convince you that the war on Christmas is a big racket. I could tell you that by protesting Happy Holidays, you're confusing Christianity with Christian supremacy, and that if you really want us to be a Christian nation, you should fight for the poor, the sick, and the least among us. But who am I kidding? If you try and do that, certain Christians are going to just go and call you a socialist. Hey, I could tell you that Glenn Beck and Bill O'Reilly trot this war on Christmas thing out every year but still take money from advertisers for commercials that say Happy Holidays. I could tell you that it's kind of creepy when a majority believes their way of life is at risk because of some spiritually inferior minority. If you don't believe me, listen to Glenn Beck and every time he says secular, just imagine he's saying Juden. I could even tell you that the whole holiday is totally crazy to begin with. Folks, Christmas is when we give material possessions as gifts to celebrate the birth of a guy who renounced material possessions. December 25th isn't really Jesus' birthday. When the Roman Empire co-opted Christianity, they chose that date because it was already the feast of their god Mithra. Now astronomers think Jesus may have really been born in June. And you're not angry over that, my friends? They're saying Jesus may have been a Gemini. I guess that would explain the whole temple freakout episode, but still, be mad about his birthday. So let me just put it this way. Folks, why do you hate capitalism? I mean, when a company chooses to say Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas, they're only trying to be considerate to as many people as possible because that's good business. The only sin they've committed is attempting to not alienate their non-Christian customers. It's sort of a rare example of business aligning with Jesus' teachings. Yeah, they're trying to maximize profit, but at least they're doing it by being nice to people. Happy Holidays is an attempt to express love and goodwill to all and not just the ones in your own club. To wish joy on those of different faiths or unbelievers as much as you would wish it on your fellow Christians. The kind of wish that doesn't draw lines, that doesn't elevate your beliefs over someone else's. A greeting that just wants happiness for everyone. Because sometimes, my friends, Happy Holidays is a lot more Christian than Merry Christmas. So Happy Holidays, because the war on Christmas is over, if you want it.